Man, I did that so rough. I didn't get. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I was just brushing my hair. Oh wait a minute, no! <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> my mate? Yes. How's it going? Good. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> how's, <laughs> how's it going, guys? I don't need a haircut, actually. We're over another batch of kitchen harks. Mrs. B has not chosen them. Oh no! The last few no. batches of harks, you've yeah, done well. Three? Do yeah, I do three? Yeah, definitely. I, I think so. Three. And they were all re pretty good. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what you're going to do. Handing the baton back to me. Yeah. Before we start, let me show you something. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is from Wish.com. It's actually a round blanket and it does zip up. Does it? Yeah, but what am I? What am I? What am I? Oh, well, you want me to say? A burrito. A burrito. See? Mrs. B has no idea what these hacks are today, do you? No. No idea whatsoever. So. They better be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, oh my gosh, I've got toast. If only I had an avocado dispenser. Hang on. Are you intrigued? I'm intrigued. Well, check out the Axe, right? Uh, Axe right. is the US version of Lynx deodorant. Right. And I tend to just have the tss, tss. I didn't really want to share my deodorant procedure, but this was one when I went to America last. I have washed this out thoroughly this morning, even got rid of the last little remaining bit. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like brushing America on my armpits is going. It's quite nice. Still smells a bit, but this, right? Right. Can be your mobile avocado dispenser. In fact, you could even pimp it up and maybe make it guacamole, maybe. Right. Apparently. We have got four avocados. Very okay. soft indeed. Like, check out the dent right on one of ready. them. Right, I'm ready. Yeah, that Look one. Look at that dent. It's like it's been head -butted. Okay, so you want me to mash it up? Uh, yeah, we're just going to get all the avocados out of their shells and mash it up into a big pulp. And maybe, we might add some lemon juice just to be funky. Um, I'm going to start to get uh, one of the next hacks ready, uh, which is basically just getting oh, a nice big deep saucepan uh, from in here. There we go, that'll do. Just sit that there for the time being. All right, so while Mrs. B is doing that, uh, this is, uh, well, the lid is off, and basically you've got this like thread, like a screw going through it, and then there's this plastic thing uh, that the soap sits on. So if you wind it down, like this you can see it's going lower and lower into there but now that is a perfect holster for our avocado how are you getting on so we've got the avocado being mashed up and just to stop it discoloring a little bit Ooh. we're going to add in uh some lemon juice that also goes on your wife yes all right happy with that yes all right let's let's go i've set up a little uh workstation here which is basically just a chopping board so i think we just dollop some in and then almost like a cake, we can sort of brush it flush. Avocado is going in. I've lowered the, the, the level thing right down. Oh yeah, we're pushing it right down. We're going like proper professional on this now. That's almost to the top. I got this little cake spatula out the drawer as well. Just to smooth it Just over. Smooth it over. Oh, <laughs> yes. Some kind of new brand of deodorant. Yeah, scented avocado from men. That looks blooming awesome. So the reason we've done that first is I think that it will work best if it's chilled in the fridge whilst we get on with other hacks. So we'll do that right at the end, lid okay. on. But you've literally got avocado in a pot now. Look at that. And if you're in an emergency, you can also um, clean up your armpits with it. What's the matter? I'm just smelling what avocado deodorant would smell like. <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. B. Hello. Uh, you have got there in your hands a 90% eaten pack of crisps. Yeah, you told me not to eat them all last night. Yes, we, we, we're watching a lot of Netflix in the evenings during the lockdown, Tiger King, we've done that, we did the Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Michael Jordan um, documentary, yeah, we did. which you were saying, oh. where's Bugs Bunny? Where's was Space it? Jam? Where's Space where Jam? Show the clip of him in Space Jam. <laughs> you did the omelette in a bag recently, the yeah. Ziploc bag, and that blew our mind. There is a hack that's going around where you can make an omelette in a crisp packet. In a crisp bag? Yes! What? Yes! Okay. 
Avocado armpits, I'm not sure, <laughs> but this will work. So what I want you to do, Yeah. I want you to like crunch these crisps up. All right. <laughs> Is there enough in there? I oh, think right. so. Yeah? Yeah. We've never done this before. No. What could go wrong? No. So Mrs. B's just getting some cheese out of the fridge and I'm gonna crack in six eggs in here. Man, I did that so rough. I didn't <laughs> get, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was about to say I did that so rough and I didn't get any eggshell anywhere. And I hate them, it's like, <laughs> Anyhow, these eggs just need to be beaten together uh, with a fork. In here, I have got some coriander, some chargo peppers, some sun-dried tomatoes. You are not going anywhere near the eggs. All right. Well, it's not just vegetarian. We've got some ham down there. What are our names? Come on, Boston. Ah, I'ma let you finish, Bet. Okay. The words of Kanye West, I'ma let you finish. Wow, <laughs> that suddenly got a lot heavier. Egg goes in. Nice. Oh look, it's sort of covered the filling. Cheese goes in as well, and then of course you can season it and stuff, but there's loads of like seasonings already on the crisps. So we'll get that in there. Ham, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted peppers, cheese. Shake it up. Oh my gosh. Right, let's get it in a pan. We literally just submerge it, yeah. Submerge it in the water. But what about the top? Just leave it like that? Yeah, yeah that's it, for half an hour. Oh, okay. Right. The egg mixture, the weight of it is pushing it all down and it is all sort of sat in there. All right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uncertain, but we'll get there. <laughs> Mrs. B, do you ever find that sometimes a random soy chocolate milk carton that's empty that you have drunk last night falls from the sky? Yes. Yes. Uh, what could this be? What could this be other than a carton? Um, some sort of pouring... I have no idea. This is not just any carton. This is a meat dispenser. Okay. Yeah, what's gonna happen is, we've got a long carton like this. We apparently, we take the lid off like that. And last night, I prepared this lovely lamb mix. It's got ground up onions in it. It's got coriander seeds, cumin, paprika, a little bit of coriander for like fresh herbs as well. And even with the Ratmaster 3000 on it, it smells stonking. We are gonna try with our lovely carton dispenser thing, we're gonna try and make some like lamb style koftas, all right? Okay. Yeah, I've done them on the channel before and yeah. you could put a stick through this, but we're not gonna do it like a bamboo skewer, okay? Okay. We need them for another hack. We need to take a little bit off the bottom to create the pusher. Right. That's the technical term, the pusher. Pusher, so do I need to cut? Yeah, cut about there. Awesome, oh, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And the okay. meat goes in this end. Right. But what I'm thinking is to stop it falling out, we can actually put the lid back on it for the time being. Isn't this like a vegan friendly yes, milk cart? Yes, I think so, sorry. Yeah, it's completely... <laughs> <laughs> You're stopping it with me. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. So we've got to get the meat into the cart and literally just cram it full, really. So there we go. Oh, that smells so good. Just pushing it, it like in that? there. Yeah, that's it. Just literally get it in there. Whoa, look at that, that's something you don't see every day. Let's say, especially in a vegan cut in a minute. <laughs> well, Mrs. B's just finishing off putting that uh, mixture in there and getting our temporary oven preheated. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, look at that. Right, this is the bit that I'm not sure is going to work. Right, okay. So, the bottom. Yeah. Um, here. Obviously, yeah. you, you could cut it longer to give yourself a bit more depth, but what we're going to do, apparently, this oh. will go in here. Yeah, we've got to make it fit. Yeah, squish Put it, it in. in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so has that it gone in? Yeah. Amazing! And what's good about this carton, just to show you, because it's got that angle like that, right? It yeah. should come out. You should be able to dispense, what, by dispense it? sausages. Come on, Mrs. B, push down. <laughs> is the lid still on? No, no. No. It is it's right there. You can see its head, Mrs. B. Push. Push. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's making noises. It's hard. Wow. Come on. There you go. There you go. Look. <laughs> My hand is literally <laughs> the cotton. Ah, God, that hurts. No. Um. I think that might be a. Uh -uh. <laughs> the world's smallest. It's a meatball. I made a meatball. Yeah. Never mind. Hang on. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not working! No, it's not working. Do you think it's too cold? No. That shouldn't I make just it think it's a rubbish hack. Sorry. What if we squeeze it out? 
I tried that and they were coming out the top. It's coming out the top. Uh, oh. Just, it's a fail. Let it go. Let it go, Barry. Let it go. Hey! Where did that come from? I don't know. Good catch. Do you ever wish that you could juice an orange better than the power of your bare hands? Yes. I'm really, I'm really like despondent right now. I'm thinking, I'm gutted. I always pick the bad hacks, don't I? Hopefully the omelette will save me. Apparently, with a glass, we yeah. can improve the juicing uh, than just using your hands and squeezing the juice out of an orange, okay? It's kind of okay. like a, a bodged juicer. Right. So I thought we could compare it. We've got one orange, we're yeah. going to halve it. One, you're going to use your brute force, Mrs. B. Right. And then the other, we're going to use the glass and then, yeah. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to like compare equal sized glasses like that and see which is stronger, Mrs. B or a glass. <laughs> The best thing to do is to squeeze as much juice as you can out of that orange into this bowl with your bare hands. Right. Go <laughs> on, you got to... Right. Uh, nice. Look at the guns. Oh my gosh, look at the guns. Yeah. Right, apparently what we do, we'll pour this in here, and from that half of orange, you got, I'm gonna say, about 50 mils. Right. I'm gonna say 45 mils. Okay. Of orange juice, okay? Yeah. So we'll pour that into here. So that's just out of the way. This is just because they're even, even sized glasses, all right? What you need to do, mm -hmm. do this over the bowl, yep. is you use the edge of the glass like so and press the orange against it so you sort of work it around until there's hardly anything left to collect all the juice, all right? Put it in there, on like between yeah, the... Yeah, 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 press it, yeah, between the... Uh, just push it down. Peel and all that, yeah. There we go, look, this orange running down through into the glass. The mixing bowl is there to carry it as well. And you've just got to, yeah, you can start getting aggressive with me. I think you're doing it right, yeah, just keep pushing. There you go. Yeah, that's it, get medieval on it. Am I going to work my way around the edge of the orange? Yeah, but then obviously it's going to get softer and you can squeeze at the same time and go and... There you Sorry go, look, that. see? That's sort of coming out now. That actually looks like less juice at the moment. I feel like I'm just getting all the peel out. There we go. I think. <laughs> I think you've done, yeah? Look at that, you made like a flower. Oh, we can make a candle out of that. Remember that one? <laughs> I do. That was a good hat. One. Right, so apparently, with the. Oh, there's a bit in there. Yeah. Should we get a sieve? Yes. Good. All right. I don't know, though. Yeah, it's not looking good, actually. <laughs> it's not looking good. I don't think I squeezed all the stuff out of there. Well, there's hardly anything left, though, Mrs. B. Oh, yeah, look, look, there you go. But is that, is that it? That, that yeah, <laughs> no, this yeah. That, it's exactly the same. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, in fact, it looks less. <laughs> it looks less. Oh. Hello, and welcome to Fine Dining. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is our first hack that we've been suggested from a TikTok. Um, and it involves chicken breast, I right? TikTok was just dance moves. It is. <laughs> so I was in the supermarket last night and um, obviously there's the lockdown at the moment and you have to keep two meters apart and this person was looking at me going, what am I doing? Because I was studying chicken breasts in a packet because this, I've got to be honest, has never bothered me before, okay? And this is freaking you out a little bit. I know you don't like raw chicken anyway. You like all meat, every single meat, don't you? Cooked beyond well done and I respect that. Be. Yeah, so like be. raw chicken breast right there for you is a bit like, mm, dear. Um, <laughs> I kind of touch it like this. Yeah, but I'm going to use one hand, okay, just to show you that on a chicken breast, you know, you might not normally get this, but apparently there's this like membrane -y bit like there, like, can you see? Yeah. Like that? Now apparently that bugs some people. In fact, this one's a bit better. Yeah, you can see it there. It bugs me. Does that bug you? Yeah. What are you holding in your hand? A fork. A fork, but some people might call it a food trident. Okay. Okay. That thing, yeah. not only can it help some mermen and mermaids and stuff, yeah. well mermaids don't have tridents, do they? they just use their tail and <laughs> uh, um, I don't know where I'm going. We thread, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll just get the kitchen towel out of the way, we'll okay. move this here. You yeah. thread the fork through, yeah, one of the grooves, like the middle this? one, apparently it's got to be the middle one, I right. don't know. So get it right in there. Yeah. And then you take a piece of kitchen towel. Yeah. Grab the uh, membrane-y bit. Yeah, and then kick your fork down and push down and pull through, and you should be able to 
Are you, you like gagging? You just spread a lip. Oh, no, there yeah. you go. Uh, that sort of didn't oh, work. Oh, wow, it did. Did it? It's all come off. Well, th is that all of it? But that bit my fork wasn't through. Right. Well, it doesn't matter, but apparently it all wow. comes off. Okay, so let's try that bit. Yeah, I think we've got quite a good chicken breast here. There's not much on it. But yeah, you push the fork down, press it onto the chicken breast and pull that membrane up. Yeah, it's working. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to pluck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is chicken thighs now. We're trying it with that. <laughs> just plucking it. I am plucking it. Oh, there you go. That's what you want. Push down with the fork and pull it up. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> that was what I saw. It was kind of like you just pulled a whole strip of the membrane off of it. Chicken thighs are tougher, so yeah. maybe... Yeah, I can't get it off. All right. Well, I don't want us playing around with raw meat for much longer. <laughs> I've got uh, one more hack up my sleeve, okay. and this one involves partially cooked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> But before we do, we have passed the half an hour stage in the omelette. Will this save the day and actually be a half decent hack? I kind of have high hopes. We top the water up a little bit. All right, All right. you ready? You taking it out? I'm gonna take it out. We've got a plate ready. The peg is off. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I think it's... That looks all right. Yeah. I don't wanna get any closer because it's like we're now like in the Congo. It's all Ooh. steamy. <laughs> Go on. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh, oh my! <laughs> That's amazing! Look at that! <laughs> oh my gosh! That is blooming stonking. Can't get over the shape of it! <laughs> it's like the crisps! I'm still about it's in crisps! It's a pillow! Don't forget where I came from, it's a pillow! And the back's kind of survived, it's gone a little bit like misty down the bottom. But like, we've got like a sweet yeah. chili omelette. I'm impressed! You've get a success. Yes! So before we try the avocado deodorant, yes. this last one, I have quite a history with toasters, as you know. Ugh, cancel. Oh, it's on fire. Right. Okay, but now you're here for health and safety. Right, you know, if anything happens to our toaster, it's going to take quite a while to get hold of a new one. Yes, it's fine. Because oh. we're making chicken nuggets in a toaster. What? <laughs> yes! Not do that. You can. The internet told me and this video proves it. Not everything the internet says is true. Right, so I bought from the supermarket. I was good, okay? I didn't buy the completely raw ones. Because in the video I saw, these are the ones that are breaded. So they're kind of, they're not fully cooked, but they're chilled. Do you know what I mean? They're not mm -hmm. frozen. They're not completely raw in that sense. So you're kind right. of warming them up more than anything. Okay. You with me? What's the normal cooking? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Who <laughs> needs 20 minutes when you've got a toaster, no, no, baby? sorry, 16. 16. 20 minutes from frozen. 20 minutes from frozen, but from chilled in a toaster. I don't know how long it is. I've got a feeling I'm gonna be the one that's trying this. I don't think either of us should try it. <laughs> Hang on a minute. You just think we're sticking them in the toaster, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh this is one of those moments <laughs> with the iron wrapping the foil. What else do you think? We're gonna cook chicken nuggets in a toaster. We go back to the old days, Mrs. B. Man like wood. We right. cook with wood. Uh, we are gonna help ourselves holster, skewer. We're gonna skewer the chicken nuggets. We can put wood in a toaster, it's all right. Okay, we're gonna thread them on. Okay. Get this open, mm. and do you know what I mean? They almost feel like they're sort of semi-cooked anyway when they're the chilled ones. And you're gonna get a nugget and push it through so it's on the skewer like that. I know, maybe like three, okay. Hey, who's ready to go camping? Mm. I love toasters, they're brilliant. Ready? They're dangerous. They are, they are dangerous things, seriously. Only handled by true professionals. So just slot it in like that. Put it down. Put it down. Oh my gosh, they've got in. Yes. A high setting. I think a very high setting, Mrs. B. Not maybe not the max. We want to slow cook these things. What's the matter? The smell. What's that I smell? It's probably avocado here. deodorant. What? I just walked over here and there's like a really funny smell. <gasps> That's the That's smell the of a smell. They're gonna catch on fire. It won't in fact catch on fire. 
It's a bamboo skewer, it's smoking a little bit. We do need to keep our eye Oh my gosh! Ah! It's ready! There you go. No fires today. Yeah. That's amazing! So that's before hardly any colour whatsoever. You can't deny, mate, they are nice and charred. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. No, look, it's still pink. Oh gosh, it's still, it's still. That's not cooked, Barry. What's the my fault? The internet told me. I told you. It's cooked the outside, but not the middle. Right, so I can have some crunchy breadcrumbs then. Is our toaster going to be right to use now? Yeah, it's going to be a bit chickeny, that's all. It smells like chicken. Uh, I've got a funny feeling that that avocado might be a funny colour. <laughs> Shall I check? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, all the other hacks have worked, so... <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh my gosh. Oh. Does it smell of it? It smells of deodorant. Oh, avocado does. deodorant. Links Africa. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Bit of that. Mix of avocado. Mmm, <laughs> ladies. Links Africa. Um, uh, no. Uh, so walk from over there, that's it. And go, oh my gosh, my toast. Thank gosh, I've got my avocado. Or whatever, okay? okay? Just fr freestyle it. You got this, you know? You've done acting school. Oh gosh, my taste is done. Thank goodness I've got my treble avocado dispenser. <laughs> Yes! Yes, Mrs. B! Right, so let's try it. Does it, does it even wind up? Oh yeah, it's going up! Is it? Yes! And then now again. Okay, right, now you can see. Yeah, look! Is that enough to Look at this side. Yeah? Wow! Oh wow! It's, dis it's only discoloured on the top, hasn't it? Because that's maybe slightly more exposed. Right. That's it, Mrs. B. Keep pumping that up there. Go on. Oh, can look! Can you see it? It's moving. Yeah! Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh! So, how did you enjoy the lockdown? <laughs> wow! You're just dabbing it now, brilliant. Nice. Now well, I'll just pop the lid back on. Yep. Yeah. Ready for another day. <laughs> that is a beast of an omelette. Oh, um, it's so heavy. <laughs> don't forget, if you've missed any other hacks already, uh, check out the playlist, have a full marathon, and let us know any cool ones you've seen on social media. And don't forget to subscribe. How was that omelette? Oh, tasty. Kind of bit into that thinking, oh my gosh. Do you actually think oh no, there is a tang to it. Right, it's all soft and nice. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. There is a slight aftershavey kind of deodorant y taste to that. Like 10% soap, 90% avocado. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> Dropped a bit. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Oh, do you know what? Out of all the fails this video has had, that is mm. worth it. You're getting that sweet chilli crisp flavour in there as well, aren't you? Oh yeah. Mmm. I forgot that. That's good. That's what I can taste. So if you do try any of these hacks out of all of this, I would try this one. Yeah. Well um, done. The this orange one was alright. Don't put nuggets in your toaster. No. Save your deodorant for your armpits. Yeah. And um, have a good day. And have a good day. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. I think we've got like two hungry kids next door. Yeah. But it's like lunchtime now, and we're just eating. It's great. Parenting is.